The Met Gala has its own pressures, like any red carpet event, uh, but like a hundred times more. It's all the industry, your peers, and then you add now more celebrities in it, so the amount of uh, paparazzis that are there, it's humongous, it's really big. I, there, is, there is no way uh, for me uh, to stay calm, but just try to smile through it. If you start with thinking, oh God, I don't have the right dress, I don't have the, uh, my hair doesn't look as good as I want it to look, my, my makeup is not as great as, uh, then you're already, it will show, You'll not, you, you won't feel comfortable. There's all the photographers yeah, yeah. screaming your name, but then at the wrong time you got there, there is Madonna in front of you and Rihanna behind you. <laughs> you just say, the car, circle around, circle around. <laughs> I started mixing and matching like a chemist, playing a chemist, uh, products and finding foundations that were suitable for my skin tone. I have always, always carried uh, a foundation in my bag. So when I stopped modeling in 1992, uh, I decided to create a cosmetics line for women with skin of color. Now I have lashes. <laughs> this year is totally a different look for me. I usually go very ladylike, very elegant. This year I'm going very rock and roll. As you can see from the hair. Right. I'm wearing a jumpsuit by Stella McCartney, who's also co-chairing tonight the Met Gala and I um, have these incredible Fred Layton jewels. Cuff, ring, little earrings, and this amazing buckle. You know, you have to really mix it up, the looks that you wear through the years, so that you're really not stale. So, and in homage, I think, to an Alexander McQueen who would not want to have to see, but a girl like me be very rock and roll, this is an homage to her. Yeah.